Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches nationwide micro, small and medium enterprises MSME support and outreach program Sunday today. Chief Minister Anbiran inaugurates Ethnological Gallery of Manipur Legislative Assembly Museum and Archives, contains individual distorting state's history for personal gains. Involvement of MOBC department in fraudulent activities seems high. Vigilant team conducts verification of MOBC go-downs. And MLA Kundrakom, TH Lokeshore blames BJP government of creating issues based on non-existing disparity between hills and the valley inhabitants to gain political mileage. Hello and welcome to Impact News watching Primetime English News. I'm Kangusam Shalera with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched the nationwide 100-day micro, micro, small and medium enterprises MSME support and outreach program Samvek today. Speaking at the state launch of Samvek at Panchayat Bhavan, DC Complex Forum Part, Chief Minister Nongtobam Biren declared to acknowledge those banks offering maximum loans to artisans of the state. Biren stated that the state government will invest its fund in banks availing loans to youths of the state. He mentioned that not his states, including Manipur, were earlier sidelined by the center, but now Prime Minister Narendra Modi-led government has executed various development and welfare schemes into actions, stating that the government has come out with the ACUS policy to bring development in the northeast region. Biran urged everyone to fully cooperate, lest the state will remain backward. Taking part in the event, Union Minister for Tourism Independent in charge. K.J. Alphonse acknowledged that not his states were deprived of various facilities of centre for a long time. He assured that Prime Minister Narendra Modi-led government gives special priority on developing not his states to bring them at par with other states of the country. I think the whole country has been taken for a big ride by the big industrialists. I think this is a time when we trust the citizen of India. And this is the whole message of Modi. He said, this country belongs to me. The money of the government of India belongs to me. The money of the banking sector is my money. It belongs to me. Just stand up with pride and say, yes, this is the day when the Prime Minister is launching in this program. Chief Minister Nongta Mambiran has inaugurated an ethnological gallery of Manipur Legislative Assembly Museum and Archives at Old Assembly Complex today. A short film of Manipur Legislative Assembly entitled History of Manipur Legislative Assembly was also released on the occasion. Speaking to media, Chief Minister Biran said, written history of a land or a country cannot be doctored at whims. He expressed discontentment that some people are trying to deconstruct and manipulate histories to gain the popularity of their identities. Biran asserted that building of such museums won't let them to manipulate the historical facts. The Chief Minister expressed pride that the state now possesses one of its kind museum in the world. Eleventh century, the is a democratic form of a sharing of division of labor. I think in the speaker Ahan Bakanano. So, I bought Nagas, cookies, I think Alimudin, like it was Alimudin. I quit the minority, not the majority, I quit the state, I quit the one nesto, Maduni, I quit the Laka the Miro, the Madu, Kanga Laka the Manipurse, one hyperdo, Sigi, Linkali Museum, China. I am the Hena Strangent Holland, I quit the Maharas Buddhist and Dragi. I am the controversial area. It's a long time. 
ชุกมบกิมตัมสตมานะอีดมมิบมากิวอร์ดิงแลงกวิสครคาอีนาปาบกันดามณีปูร์ซีบริติชอินเดียกิพรีโคโลเนียลมะมังดาฮิลเวล
masih ki point ane sih fulfill tau bimbang ngam lagi deh koi adum aku koi so okay aku koi containment so lay adu aku koi station sih adum ya nabo pura kosu ya adu boh asin nat bida ngaki oina tha mangagi tha toroki tha nipan gi tulo pirga tu ye institution call off tau hai deh koi adu deh accept tau bungam jero Joint Committee on the Inner Line Permit System, JCILPS Manipur, has submitted a memorandum with five proposals to Chief Minister N. Biren today. Speaking to media at the office of JCILPS this afternoon, convener of JCILPS, Yumnamcha Dilip Kumar, said that the memorandum submitted to the Chief Minister includes demand for the state government to pressurize the President of India to give approval for the recently passed Manipur Bill's Manipur People's Protection Bill without further delay to establish Manipur State Population Commission and Manipur Land Reforms Commission as agreed between the state government and JCLPS on October 25 of 2015 and to construct a state-sponsored complex of Lamzing Meira, Robin Wood, who died in an ILP issue. He also demanded the state cabinet to issue an ordinance preventing reservation of seats for non-locals during jobs recruitment and to revamp checking on entry of illegal migrants along national highways. State government ki adu ka minister Singh ji ki hai na vida mama ki Congress government na taoram bani ai koi ki anagi banati adu ai koi di nau nau kuchh khatta noi na hire kani na soi na hire kani madhu madhi ai koi lay thole sin tau bira nu hai dana tham ningi mama ki government na taorasu hausi ki na taorasu state government di state government noi na lay kada bani government ki lay riba ya na ki bapuna mukto review taora kanda manpur state population commission same kada bani hai riba manpur people bill 2000 I think na Mabung bahan sanar kadi komplikasi macam je, kerana mungkin sol tau kita betul. Hujung hujung ngai ringai cerak saya cerita. State government yang ngamba, kebenda yang pas tau juga ngamba. Atuh bagi orang yang ordinan sama, tu nama implement tau kita bni. State government ni, aduh ke minister sing sing ke hai na vida. Mama ni Congress government yang tau ramban ni, ikhoy ni anak ibu nanti. Aduh ikhoy di nau nau hujung kat tau nuna hairak pun ni nai. So nai hairak ni, madu madu ikhoy lay thole sin tau biranu aja nanti tham ningi. Mamang ika mana tau rasu, hausik kita tau rasu, state government di, state government mana lagi kita bani, government ni lagi riba, ya nak riba puna mukto review tau raka anda, manpu state population commission, siam kita bani. Hai riba manpu people bill 2000, I think je na, mabung bahan sanar kadi. State government ni, aduh ke minister sing sing ke hai na vida. Mama angi Kongres gam enak tau ramban ni, ikhoy ni anak ibu nanti, aduh ikhoy di nau nau kujik kat tau nui na hairak pun ni nai, soi na hairak ni, madu madu ikhoy lay thole sin tau biranu aja nanti tham ningi. Mama angi gam enak tau rasu, hausik kita tau rasu, state government di, state government nui na lay kita bani, government ni lay riba, ya anak ibu puna mukto review. Settled Tribe Demand Committee, Naharupana, has warned of intense agitation against the silence maintained by the state government regarding inclusion of Maite Mite community into the Settled Tribe of the Indian Constitution. Briefing media at Moirang Kuno, Taramakong Market today, member of Naharupana, Moirang Tem Lema, intimated that the state government is sure to put the matter into actions without further delay during a meeting convened with the committee members last September 15. However, no actions are taken for the same till date. Government na thambi ki bata jab adu ki makha po na ekoi na tang tara tarukta railway station thingane na tauram ba kongjang adu handok cha adu na ngasi bhawat makha ta na kongjang chang chan da na lai rak li adu ku ngasi bhawat da government na recommendation amata pirak tra bani na makha ta ba kongjang chinggi damak ekoi siam sa adu na lai re government now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on an exclusive report on Salai Holdings Private Limited sponsoring a sumo wrestling demonstration in the upcoming Sangai Festival. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Sumo wrestling demonstration will be a part of the upcoming Sangai Festival 2018. An exclusive report in this regard.
Sangai Festival revelers this year will be treated to a rare sight of Japanese sumo wrestling. Speaking to state media at London Marriott Hotel, chairman of Salai Holdings Private Limited, Samarjit Ngarengbam stated that, following a request of the state government, Salai Holdings Private Limited has decided to sponsor a three-day sumo wrestling demonstration during the upcoming Sangai Festival 2018. The sponsorship is expected to cost Salai Holdings Private Limited over 1 crore rupees. Sida ako ikang kangong din tourism department, tayo ako yung ayipa apong basit siya, mga ako yung tarig. Mga yung tarig basa sumain to guna andar kis sa ngay festival sa kisang mega event amo uina niya ang dugon bakit na tana ako yung salay holding travel limited na hari ba sumo di mga yung wrestlers singi mga yung demonstration basa that twenty two dagi na twenty five awo gi uiba mga yung tarig ba pero amo sida Nampak kumni sangat, hari pada demonstration si pin yang nampak kita muka, ekoi di oiba, borob director singgi oiba resolution, aman lawaga, ekoi ner, ya aman positif oiba respons, aman ekoi pijak kipen. Samarjit maintained that his company is sponsoring the wrestling demonstration with an aim to enhance cultural ties between Japan and Manipur. He also said Japanese sumo wrestlers will interact with local mukna players as part of the cultural exchange. Ia kau yang Manipur kau mana sih jalan kau aduh gumla wa wa kelon, amu yang manung dah kau ni, madu dah muna, upsa nak kencing raga, masih kau ye, tasyeng na cultural exchange, amu di tongan tongan wa lepak amu gal lepak amu gal gila ni riba, mari tu dah kau ni promote tong nena bagi, amu na amu bus sokat nena bagi oi wa, ahan berkong thang ni, tung dah lakar dah masih ye impact adu de, masih kau ye tongan tongan wa economically Mari relationship sahaja lakukan matam da, culturally mari sahaja lakukan matam da, politically ekoi support tu orang lakukan matam da, tung da, korak ke dawa generation generation kudik mukta, mateng amas so ini orang ini hebat sah, madu gi, oh tu ni ekoi ni kanjari. Managing Director of Salai International Japan, Kaita Inui, who accompanied Samarjit to London, stated that as many as four sumo wrestlers will visit Imphal to demonstrate sumo wrestling. All together, four small wrestlers uh, will come to join the Shanghai Festival, and they uh, they 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 will do the some small uh, match, small demonstration, and then they meet uh, your local your local people, and then probably will uh, go to see the some you know Salai uh, Holdings project such as the Shiitake project and the other. Okay. Chairman of Salai Holdings, Samarjit Ngarengbom, along with the company's board of directors, were in London to receive the prestigious Global Achievers Award, Mahatma Gandhi Sanman, at the House of Commons in Westminster, London. He, along with 30 awardees from 27 countries, including the former Prime Minister of India, H. Deve Gauda, were honoured at the conclave. This is Joyce Shugusham, Impact News, Infal. Indo-Myanmar border adjacent to Manipur was surveyed yet again today. However, details are unknown as officials of Manipur were not part of the survey team. Joint Secretary of the Ministry of External Affairs, Brikam Doraiswamy, Joint Secretary under the Ministry of Home Affairs, Border Management, A.V. Reddy, and Director of International Boundary under the Survey of India, S.K. Sinha, represented India, while Myanmar was represented by Deputy Director General Administration, Tamu District, Nai Hun Ko, and other officials of Myanmar. The team surveyed Indo Myanmar border areas near Mori Town in Technopal District. Areas between border pillar number 78 and 79 were inspected. Areas under border pillar number 79 were inspected starting from sentry post of Myanmar Army at Namphalong Market in Myanmar. The survey team landed at 11 Assam Rifles Helipate in Mori at 9.40 this morning. Assam Rifles Commandant R.S. Rawat and Additional Superintendent of the Mori Police K. Robinson escorted the survey team.
All Manipur Agricultural Technological Management Agency Employees Association convened its second annual meet at Lambian Basangland in Palace Compound today. Speaking to media, General Secretary of the Association, Rima Hemant, stated that the Indian government targets to double farmers' income by 2022. She asserted that ATMA members are actively involved in the mission for the welfare of the state's farmers. She also mentioned that the association is taking an active role in the state government's Go to Village mission for the welfare of the state. However, all the efforts are being hindered due to recruitment of staffs on contractual basis. She urged the relevant authority to regularize all the contract staffs of various departments under a policy. President of All India Trade Union Congress Manipur, Dr. Moirang Tim Nara and many eminent persons attended the event. ตลอดสร้างในอังกฤษจะได้ว่าอะไรอีกเรื่องถ้าเกิดว่ามาทำจันทร์เหตุพิบิรักษ์ตัวว่าสิ่งบางกิ่งนุ่งนางบักคราบ
Rotary Club Infall observed its 46th Foundation Day at Rotary Multi Service Center, Mantripuki, today. Rotary Club President Dr. Sudiranjan, Secretary Manis Jain, and Assistant Governor T.H. Arun attended the event. 18 winners of drawing competition held on September 23 were felicitated on the occasion. Now the sports news. Max Sports Academy Manipur commenced its second football coaching program at Kumat Lampak Artificial Turf Ground today. 35 under 13 boys, 22 under 15 boys and 18 under 18 boys will be trained during the 29-day coaching program by AFC B Licensee H. Imo and AFC C Licensee and Utam. The Menglo DYAS or TH Tomba presented 20,000 rupees and 10 footballs on the occasion. Advisor of Max Sports Academy, R. Dominic Aha, also presented 10,000 rupees for the program. It may be recalled that the Academy trained 28 boy footballers in its first coaching program held from October 4 to 24 this year. Speaking to media, President of Max Sports Academy Manipur, John Simic stated that the Academy is putting all out efforts to produce good footballers. From from the state. He also mentioned that efforts are underway to organize first ever Manipur Youth Football League, Manipur Youth League Football Tournament from December 3 to 15. Our aim is not only to make them a footballer alone, but we want to groom them to live a disciplined life. Here are lots of players who don't have, who lost their parents. Some are orphaned and some are uh, coming from a very rich background. But it's sports is for all. It's a f sports for all, free sports for all. This is our aim and objective that every player should get free sports for all. So after the training camp of from 2nd November to 30th November, we will be playing the first Manipur Youth League. It will be organized by Max Sports, Ukru Manipur. Our aim is not only to make them a footballer alone, but we want to groom them to live a disciplined life. Here are the first state level men's open volleyball tournament dedicated to Let and Naba Singh kick off today. The tournament organized by TYWC Thamnapopi was integrated by social worker Tongam Santi as UP school ground Thamnapopi in Bisnupur district. Speaking in the event, Tongam Santi stressed the need to understand the origin of various sports. He said volleyball originated from USA in 1895 and it reached Manipur in 1976. Santi believed that with dedication, Manipur will be able to carve its place in the world for volleyball. TYWC Thamnapopi beat SUWC Irangbam 3-0 in the opening match of the tournament, participated by altogether eight teams. Ex Polo Club Wangkai and Tangweiband Youth Polo Club have entered the quarterfinal of the 34th N Hazari and Dr. N Tombi State Level Polo Tournament today. In the first pre quarterfinal played at Mapal Kangzebung, Ex Polo Club Wangkai players TH Jacob and Eld Atangba scored two goals each and Eld Tolongkomba. K. Zugendro and H. Kanta scored one goal each and Tras Assam Rifles Polo Team 11-1 to enter the quarter-final. While Eastern Students Club Team A, Nomebung defeated Kuman Polo Club 7-2. Winners of the match, Eastern Student Club Team A, Nomebung's player Y. Suras, A. Cameroon and S. Brosen scored two goals each and N. Bablu scored one goal. In the second pre-quarter-final match, Tangweban Youth Club, Polo Club's player SH Robilung, Roli Bing scored two goals and P. Pramsi scored one goal to defeat Nambul Mapal Polo Club by 3 1 to enter the quarter final. Altogether, 31 Polo teams from across the state are participating in the knockout basis tournament held under the aegis of Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Association. Three subsequent matches will be played tomorrow.
Central Swimming Center Wonkai has entered the semi-final of the sixth White Claw Club Water Polo Tournament. In the second league of the Water Polo Tournament held at Shampu Creek, Kongba Market this morning, Kongba Youth Organization, Kongba Kaitel defeated Kongba Water Polo Club, Kongba Kaitel 8-1. While in the third league welfare of the Youth Liberal and Conduct Organization, Kongba Kaitel defeated Kongba Water Polo Club, Kongba Kaitel 11-3. In the fourth league of the ongoing Water Polo Tournament, held this afternoon, Central Swimming Center Wankai dropped Kongba Youth Organization, Kongba Koitel, 15-5 and in the 5th league, Central Swimming Center Wankai defeated Kongba Water Polo Club, Kongba Koitel, 8-4. Four teams are participating in the tournament organized by Welfare of the Youth's Liberal and Conduct Organization, Kongba Koitel. Semi-final match of the tournament will be played in the afternoon tomorrow. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches nationwide micro, small and medium enterprises MSME support and outreach program Sunday today. Chief Minister Anbiran inaugurates Ethnological Gallery of Manipur Legislative Assembly Museum and Archives, contains individual distorting state's history for personal gains. Involvement of MOBC department in fraudulent activities seems high. Vigilant team conducts verification of MOBC go-downs. And MLA Kundrakom, TH Lokeshore blames BJP government of creating issues based on non-existing disparity between hills and the valley inhabitants to gain political mileage.